This is the last part of this tutorial. Here we will talk about some small stuff that might help you to debug, release in the production and those kind of thing. The first thing we will talk about pipes. For example, you are seeing this text as like a lower case and you want to make these all upper cases. You can use a simple pipe and to see it working, we will go to our code editor and in the email, we will add a pipe here, just simple pipe and we will tell it to be uppercase and we will save this guy if we come back to the UI you will see that after loading it's all uppercases we will look into the other pipes in angular 2 so we will go back to the code editor and we will add a paragraph tag here and inside this paragraph we will have some text created at where we will display the date and we will bind it to user dot created underscore at and by default if you look into the ui you will see it shows a ugly date that's not very pretty and to make it prettier you just add a pipe and mark it as a date and if you come back to the ui after reload you will see that it becomes more readable date next step we will see that how you can debug an angular 2 application to do some simple debugging in an angular 2 application you can use a chrome extension and the name of the extension is a u z u r y and if you search for auguri chrome and you will go to this link you will see the chrome extension and you can add it to your chrome browser i have already added it now we will go to the website that we have created and open the dev tool and in the dev tool somewhere you will see auguri and in the auguri you will see the component structure if you click on the user component you will see information about it on the right hand side where you have the instance provider you have the current state of your component and if you like you can change some of the values here for example if you scroll down and this name is theo and you change it to theory and you press enter and you come to the ui you will see that the name of this guy is changed to theory and you can change something else too if you want the theory second and then you enter it gets updated right away and beside properties you will have the injector graph how components and module are injected to your current component and if you want you can know information about the routing tree and next step we will see that how we can deploy this to the production and to do so we will go to the command line api and then we will cancel the current execution control c and we will type ng build if we do that and this will run the whole project when the build is done you can go to the directory where you have the project and inside it you will see a folder called dist and this is the file you want to deploy if you just build by using ng build it will not optimize your resources to optimize your angular 2 project for the production you need to execute ng build and pass a flag prod if you do that when this command is done you can go to the dist folder again and you will see like less number of files and all are minified here and ready for production deployment so we are done with the fifth part of this tutorial i will quickly recap that what we have talked throughout this tutorial first we talked about the quickest way to create an angular 2 application and keep it running without knowing anything about it and then we talked about what is component how you can create multiple component and then we talked about how you can create a service load the data from the server show those in the ui and then we talked about how you can get external library like angular material design and use it in your website and then we talked about multiple routing how you can display multiple component based on the route and also how you can pass parameter to a route later we talked about how you can use pipe debug your application or build it for production if you watched this tutorial angular 2 for dummy up to this point to fill your tummy with yummy angular 2 please subscribe to this channel otherwise my mommy will kick me out of her basement